Good morning, Pisces. How are you? How we doing? How we doing, Pisces? It's in the house. Yes, honey. So let me start off by saying, um, you know, I got this um, person on my, it's funny because you're funny as hell to me, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, I have someone to talk about some stop saying wash your hands. I'm going to tell you something. You're going to save lives when you wash your hands and cover your face and do the right things you need to do. It's not all about you. It's about everybody. It's just not about you. So whether you're a nurse or whatever, you need to wash your hand and, um, you know, be cautious of your surroundings because it's not about you. It's everybody. Save people. Save your own. Save your loved ones. Save, honey. Save. Don't get all extra acting like it's about you and don't tell you to wash your hands. You need to wash your hand to cover your whole damn body since you want to get smart with me. You saving people's lives and you saving your own. Respect everybody else. It's not about you. You're not the only one to live in the world. Okay, for that person to keep telling me, tell me Scott Washington, why don't you just dismiss your ass from my Pisces studio? How about that? We don't have to talk no more about your hand. Get the fuck out of here. Do you understand that shit? I said it and I meant it. Get the fuck out. All right, this is about saving lives and saving your own and your kids and your loved ones. Take this shit serious. It's not funny. All right? And if you say you're a nurse, you should know better because I am not a nurse. I'm not a doctor. But I'll tell you what. I got a grandchild. I got a son. I got a family. I got sisters and brothers and people that love me. That's called respect. It's saving other people as well as yourself. Do you understand? Don't play with me. All right? So... For all those who like, share, and subscribe, thank you a million. For all those who's taken up my Pisces studio spiritual advisor uh, course, thank you. And for all those who are taking my class for tarot card, thank you. Make sure you get your deck that you're comfortable with. So when you study, it's marrying you and you marry it. You become one. Okay? Your cars are you. Yes, your energy. That's who you are. And thank you for all those who go on my jewelry, uh, my web and buy my jewelry. Okay? I thank you a million. And my jewelry is the bomb because I make my own jewelry. I'm not going to sell you anything that I will not wear myself. And I wear nice shit. Okay? Real nice shit. Don't get it twisted. All right. Um, also, Shanice Lee. Shanisa Lee. Uh, I'm from... Where you from? They don't say it. Thank you for your gift bag that you sent me. Thank you a million. Everything's in here. And trust and believe me, I didn't want to open it. And so I said thank you to you because it got some glass, wine bottles, and all that shit. I love it all. Thank you. And thank you a million, million and one. I do appreciate that. Can you please send me your address? I have, um, <clears throat> oh, I got your number here. I will call you up and get your address, okay? I'm going to call you. Get that address. Thank you a million. That basket. Basket got everything I like. Nail polish. <clears throat> a little bad because you know I'm going to be traveling. And going to them countries. And guess what? Yeah, I'm traveling. Getting on that plane. And I know everything is going on out here. But I got to go. So um, I'm going to be safe wherever I'm going. And I'm going to spread the word. And I'm also going to be doing my tarot cards. Um, I'm going to do, um, be doing um, workshops. And I'm ready to bounce. So um. I'll be seeing that in November. I'm out. So I'm waiting on that um, passport to come through. So as soon as that passport come through, definitely going to be hitting um, India because I need to go get that stone in India. India. All right. <clears throat> Shout out to everyone. I love you all. Okay. Just learn to respect each other. Know that we all in this together and we need to take this very serious. This is not a joke. We're talking about people's lives, you know, every day. You know, this has not ended. This is not ended. Please don't forget to vote, okay? I don't care who you vote for. Vote. Your vote counts. Don't sit back and say it don't count, and then you 
sitting there watching people marching and killing each other and all of this. A lot of craziness is going on in this world. If you want to sit there and talk about it and look at the TV and know that all this craziness is going throughout the world, and you sitting there, it can happen to you too. Don't get it. You can be right there. It can happen to you, me, or anybody. Okay, fight for what's right. Okay, and we need to fight because we're coming back into that time. Back in the 50s and, you know, early on, um, Martin Luther King, when he was born, and he was fighting for us and our rights. Let me tell you, people are still dying for us and our rights. So we need to get in there and vote and make a difference and count for what we believe in and to show that we are counted, that we are number one, that we're number two, that we're somewhere in this line that we counted for. And they're not just wrapping our bodies in bags. Do you understand? It's a damn shame that we all know that we all the same. Just because your color, colors are everything, honey. All right? Because when we die, we die, die all the same. It ain't God don't say you're white, black, green, or purple, or red and put you in different burials. You all go in the same, honey. The same place we all go. So we need to treat each other with respect and stop having all hatreds going around. All right? We, I think we've seen enough of that while we bring that shit back. All right? So vote. And I don't care who you vote for. All right? I don't care who you vote for. Why don't you get out there and vote? All right? Moving on. Here we go. Uh, you got the two of cups. The two of cups. You got, uh, got that two of cups going there, honey. And I'm shuffling these cards. Yes, I am. Yeah. You want to shuffle these cards. Let me see something. See if I can do this here. You got the king of cups. So you got the two of cups and you got the king of cups. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm shuffling. Yes, I am. Because this got to. Let's see. You got a love reading here. You got the King of Cups. This King of Cups look like it's a. It's like um. Got the heart. Fit. Okay. Let's let's get this party started. Let's see where we at with this reading. All right. You know I don't sugarcoat shit. You know I call it like I see it. All right. Here we go. So you got the two of cups. All right, so you got a lot of cups here. You got cups, 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 and you got um to hyphen, okay? Um, let's see uh, what I wanted to say. Whoa. You got a Virgo. You got, um, first of all, you got the two of cups, which is um Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. You got the king of cup, okay? Uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, but it can be any, any sign, but I'm just saying what these cards represent. Um, and you got the harmony, which is a Virgo. Okay, so, let's go. So, you got the two of cups. You got somebody that, <clears throat> uh, two people that was connected they are connected. That I could, I'm saying was because it could have. It's in the past. Okay, these people, these two people were connected in some level, but I feel like this connection was uh, a little bit too much because I feel like this person, whoever they was Pisces, you was connected to. Because I see the King of Cups, and that King of Cups is all rocky in the water, which means to tell me that they um, wasn't giving you full cups, 
all right? And they're shaky. They don't know. They're not sure. They, they're going within. But let's get to this card right here, okay? All right. So you got the two of cup, right? This partner, this thrill and this partnership. And your heart leaps with joy and this connection. It's a romance partner, soulmate, friendship, connecting heart, passion, kindness, spirit, joyful connection, and corp and corporation, union, sometime marriage. Okay. When you share the joy of those around you, you will attract deep and meaningful ties with others. This car whispers a romance and love blossom and attractive in a union. In a union. Come here, Jojo. In a union. All right. Stay there. All right. So let me tell you something. I feel like at one point, Pisces, at the beginning was good, but the thing about it is, you got two people here, right, that, I, and I'm saying this because right after that, I see this, so at one point, you had everything you wanted in this person, everything, it was like you went all head on with this person, right? This person could have been like, okay, Pisces, I see Pisces, I like what I see, but when Pisces gets in, Pisces gets in. And Pisces can drown quickly. You know why? Because you don't give time for someone else to give to you. You give it all. And the thing about it is, this is coming out in a lot of the readings. I feel like it was a connection, and it, at the beginning, it was good. But I feel like this connection here, you know, is it, it could be two people. And I'm saying it, it was a good connection because this is a real good connection. I feel like these people had a chemistry about them. And I believe that this chemistry was even deeper. It's like when you, when I think when they seen you, they seen everything about you all at once. They seen everything that they liked about you. They like, it wasn't one thing they didn't like. They was checking you out hard as fuck. All right? You might have known this person before. Okay? And I'm telling you that I know for a fact that this person really, I don't know if he was infatuated with you. I don't know if he's seen everything. It's like almost like I felt like this person lived in this dream or whatever of knowing you. It it was a knowing because I feel like y'all knew each other and they came back around. And then it's in their head of who they knew then. The thing is, people change, and time changes. And maybe when y'all met, um, it was different. And even then, you got to think about it. If we met then, and things wasn't good, and then they came back, or whatever, I don't know. But the person came back, right? Why? Wasn't it a commitment or something then? Why well, didn't come back and then realize we're giving this another chance because, oh, everything was good then. And I remember this person being the bomb. And, okay, then you come back and it's like, okay, you're looking at it and living for what it was. That's like if, say you get locked up, you go do time. And if you never done time, well, then you don't know what I mean. But if you have or whatever, um, you come home and you try to make up for the time that you lost. And you can't make up for time that you lost because once it's gone, it's gone. So in between this time of what it was then and what it was when you met again, 
it's two different times. Do you understand? And <clears throat> you can't bring that time or when you thought that person was the bomb, diggity dog, whatever it was, and you're looking at that person, ain't nothing that person changed because she's still the bomb. Pisces, you still every fucking thing you are. Do you understand? But times change. So, you know, when we get in love, we get in love. And we can go to 10 real quick because all of a sudden, you're giving it all before you can get all. Right? And then you start thinking, whoa, wait a minute. I'm going a little bit. It's like you're used to doing certain things certain way. And now this is supposed to be a two-way street, but it became a one-way street. And everything was you doing for them. And everything was, you got to the point that you wore your damn self out from doing. And feel like you literally wore yourself out. And I feel like Sometimes people don't even realize how good they got it with a person. And I felt like they didn't appreciate you in a way that you were supposed to be appreciated. I feel like this person, even though you did and they, in their eyes they think you didn't do shit, time's time. What you do is what you do. And if they was to put they wear your shoes and you wore theirs, then they know what it was. Because you need to sit down and check that shit out. You know, I learned one thing. I learned that I'm not no longer going to wear my damn soul out. You ain't going to wear my energy, my soul, and everything about me. And I got to be this woman, 100% woman for you. And cater to you. Because when you do that, you sell your soul to the devil. And what I mean the devil is like you catering where you're not getting nothing in return. They watch you sit there cook. They watch you sit there do everything. Is you okay? Everything good? You want this? You want that? Everything is handed in a platter to them. And all you get is a thank you. I'm going to tell you something. Pisces, you did enough and don't beat yourself down because you feel like this person ghosts you, walked away. All right? You don't hear from them nothing. You know, a lot of people play roles in a situation. But I'm going to tell you what, when people play role in a situation, it's why... It's because that individual allows them to. Because no one can play any role that you don't allow. So if they allow people, family, friends, and all this to cut in a situation that is really, I'm telling you, a situation that ain't got nothing to do with nobody but you and them. And not only that, and they can see how good you was to them. It's a problem. It's a real problem. And yes, you miss this person. And yes, you may think about this person. But, you know, you think about all the weight that you had on your back. All the running you was doing. All that catering. All that giving. And all they did was take. That's a lot to have your whole, whole you on a schedule, and that schedule is all about them. It, your schedule ain't got shit to do with you. It got to do with them. You got your whole schedule plan. This time I get up, this time I got to do this, this time I do. And everything, this, 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 around them. And on top of that, you got still your own thing to cater to. You still go to work. It's like you never had a time for self. And they didn't make it easier because they were so used to being spoiled. They didn't even realize how good they had it. Because people don't see that. If you do, it's like if you have a child, you have a baby, you do the same thing. That baby grow up, that baby don't think nobody that is poor, but everybody say this motherfucker is poor as hell. 
And that baby's like, well, I ain't spoiled. Why? Because that baby ain't never been used to nothing else but being spoiled. And that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that you gave and gave and gave and gave and gave. And this person didn't see anything wrong because guess what? From the time you met him, all you did was lay the red carpet out. How the hell can a person go come to your house and you lay it out and then go to their house and wait a minute, let me make sure to say this shit again. How the hell do you lay shit out and they know you lay it out in your own house when they come over and then turn the fuck around and go to their house and lay the fuck out again for them? In their own house? Don't you know when you go to people's house, they supposed to do the same shit you do for them? Uh-uh. That don't happen. Because it happens if you make it happen. You, Pisces, make it happen for someone else. And that ain't fucking good. And then you walk up and they look at you like you're fucking crazy. Curse your ass out, make you feel like shit. And literally tell you to your face, you ain't done shit for them. That's a slap to your face and a kick to your gut and let you know that that's fucked up. Right? And let me tell you something. It's crazy when you think that you know that you've done it all and that person looks right in your face and tell you that you ain't done shit. And that you ungrateful because you throw it in their face. They have no fucking clue. No clue. But it's just crazy to me how they couldn't do shit for you. But they damn sure do for the next. You know why? Because the next bitch ain't going to lay no carpet out for them. The next bitch is going to want them to do for them. And they know that. And I know that for a fact. See, they may not gave it all to you, but they damn sure gave it to somebody else because that next person is asking for it. And see, we don't do that. We don't ask for shit. And that's why people take advantage of us. Because we're givers. We don't take unless they give it to us. And them other bitches out there fucking make sure they got from their asses. And that's a fucked up ass shit. And that's why now, mm -mm, I sit back. Ain't no way in hell I'm going to give a motherfucking shit. And they ain't going to give me shit in return. But a thank you. How about this? And you can go out there to the next bitch and the next and next and give them and come to me with shit. Fuck that. Ain't going down like that no more. Call me what the hell you want to call me. But please don't call me stupid. Because I was stupid enough. And I am wide awake. And I know now I love me. And I'm so in love with me that ain't no way in hell I'm going to fucking sell my soul to them again to get what they gave me. And this is two people. Two people that you thought to care. And let me give you something right. They do care. But they got a vicious, strange fucking way of showing you they care. And the one thing you good and they are good with is having sex. Because y'all damn sure got that laid out. But anything else, that motherfucker's blind like a bat. Can't see shit, don't want to help, don't want to do nothing. All right, nothing. Not in your house and not in their house. And you're lucky if you're allowed to go to their house. That's crazy. But not in this motherfucker. If I can't step foot in your door, then you won't be stepping foot in mine. And that's what I know for sure. And that's a sure, sure shit. Do you understand? You can't get that shit off that you can come and chill in my house and I can't chill in yours. That, that ain't gonna fucking happen. We're two grown fucking people. And I damn sure don't let nobody stand in my way. Nobody. Not my son and nobody could ever tell me that I cannot be well, who I want to be with, or they're going to stop telling me what I need, stop doing this or stop seeing that or they ain't good. It ain't a damn soul that can tell me that. So if I can't come into your door, your door, your front door, then you can't come into mine. 
And I mean that shit from the bottom of my heart. I'm grown. And if you don't know how grown you are and how you don't have to put up with bullshit, guess what? It's all good. It's good, but I'm not. I'm going to say it again. I'm not stupid, and I'm not going to park my car in a whip, but in front of your damn door. And if I can't park my car in front of your damn door, then guess what? It ain't shit popping, because I'm that bitch, and I'm fucking going to stand for who I am. And that's it, and that's all. That don't mean I don't care. That means I ain't putting up with that shit. That ain't got shit to do with everybody. But you made it about everybody. All right? We're going to act our age. We're going to control situations. Or oh, we're not. Because I don't hide from no fucking body. And I don't give a fuck who it is. I'm not. If you come to my house, you ain't hiding. Right? You get treated like a king in my motherfucking house. So that's the same shit I'm going to be doing. Getting treated like a queen and walking in the door and parking my door, my car, in front of your door. And walking out of my car and going into your door. And if that can't be, then it can't be no other way. I stand up to anybody. And I won't, and anybody know that. I don't care about what people think about me. See, they think, they, let me tell you, you got people in your life that worry and think about what everybody think about them. And how the hell does people got to make control or situation over somebody's life? You let somebody, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to say a better thing than this. When I started thinking about everything, And when people don't want you to come to their house, it's because they got secrets. Not only they made a problem, or they got you thinking like you, because I ain't never heard it. I, honey, I done seen cops come to people's doors when they fight and carry on. But I've never seen somebody say, you can't come to my house because so-and-so said you can't because you violated. Who the fuck you violated? Did you violate it? Who did you violate it? Did you violate it? Us? Or did you violate it? Somebody don't even mean shit. Or is it secrets that you got to hide? Other people that you just don't want people to bump into. What is it? This shit's crazy to me. But I ain't figured this shit out. Because guess what? I've moved on. And I'm that badass bitch. And I can have any fucking body I want. In the day I had somebody, best to believe, they're going to be right the fuck here, next to my car reading, saying hi to y'all, because that's the way the fuck it is. I ain't got time to play these fucking games with no damn body. So this is the person you was with. That person has many a secrets. And as much as you love them, whatever thing you had to give them, it's many excuses of why you ain't there. But one of the main excuses why you ain't this because they don't want you to be there. Because ain't nobody going to stop you from going there but them. When I mean nobody, nobody. Do you understand that? Nobody. If they don't want you in their door, it's because they don't want you there because they can't nobody stop them. Because I'll pull the fuck up in the driveway like you can pull up in mine. And if I can't pull up in your driveway and you talk about I own my place and you don't, I won't give a fuck. It ain't nobody on the face of this earth that you rent for or anybody else. Can y'all please tell me where the law says that you can rent in somebody and they can tell you who to come and who not to come on their property or whatever? Can somebody show me the law of that? Because I've never heard of it. And I've never heard of someone allowing a landlord to tell the person that they can't come. Baby, please. Where? You pay your rent, you pay your rent. That bitch ain't got shit to do with shit. People allow other people to come into their relationship because they got... Listen to me. I'm going to give a fuck about a landlord, anybody else. If the police come 
in your property or in your place where y'all arguing, they're going to separate y'all. If you decide to bring that person back in the same night and fuck them, that's your business. Am I right or wrong? Right? But when people start telling you can't come in and making all these excuses, it's because they got somebody else. And that's what happened. And they try to fucking put you like you wasn't shit. And everybody asked so that they can live their world. Okay? Well, go ahead, baby. Live it. Because this person that wants to... That had all this going on is thinking now, shit. I really love Pisces. I really did. And I know this shit wasn't right. The way it ended. But... Pisces a bad bitch because Pisces came back not one time, not two times. Pisces kept coming back. Where she didn't even was want it because you didn't want Pisces there. Pisces, you was unwanted in this person's life. It was a game they played. And they played it right with you. But now they know. And I'm going to say it again. Um, I'm not going to say I don't think about you. I'm not going to say I don't think it. You crossed my mind. But not to that point that I'm going to allow. Not to be a couple. As a real couple. And be hidden like I'm in a closet. In your life. That ain't going to happen. So if you feel this kind of shaky way about yourself right now. Because whatever took place. or And I'm talking about took place. I ain't talking about the last time. The last time we was cool. But I'm talking about what really took place. Alright. Do you understand? Because I, I just feel like you're going through something right now. And you can't shake it off. You can't shake the thought of the person you was with. The person you was with, Pisces, cannot shake it off. And you know why? Because in spite of everything that happened, they know that you love them. Because ain't no fucking way in hell you going to do everything you did. And even after everything, they, the performance and all, you kept coming back. And even after you couldn't even be allowed to go there, you still went there. That's some shit. Why? Because you really cared about them. That's really crazy. And it took you a long time to get over them and to move on. And I mean to move on, not to move on as in relationship, but to move on in your space within yourself to get to know who you are. Because I don't see you saying, listen, I'm going to take you back or whatever. I see you saying, What's up? Like, what do you really want? Am I still, am I coming over there? Am I parking my car at your door? I mean, where do I stand? Because if it ain't that, it ain't shit. Are you going to come here and cook? Are you going to help me out? Are we going to build shit together? Or is it still a one-way street? Because if it is, there is no need to come back. Do you understand? It's no way that we can work it out if it ain't right. I can't. Pisces, you can't give everything you got to somebody that only sees a one-way street. Fair street. On this street, it's two-way. And if it ain't a two-way, it ain't no way. For everything you went through with this person here, that's right in their head, you see the waters, but they got that cup, right? Because this person really cares about you. And I mean really cares about you. They know they had good times with you. But the thing about it is, the good times were good. All right? In Pisces, when you know something, you know something. You know you care about this person. You do. But you can't have it the way it was. And you're not going to be sitting there saying, well, damn, we always got to go to my house. Can I go to y'all's? 
can us children cannot go somewhere and chill. It feels good to leave your house and go to their house, right? If you can get there, if you're allowed to come. And if you ain't allowed to come, then leave that shit alone. Because this is a two-way street. Don't settle for nothing less than it is across the board. That means you come to my house, I go to your house. That means I cook, you cook. That means I clean, you clean. That means we working together. We just don't sit around and let somebody slave and you sitting there with your legs crossed, listening to music, watching. It don't go that way. It means working together. I don't have more than you have. I am equal. And, and if I'm telling you I'm equal, I'm equal to everything you got. Because if you meet a man and you got a house and they live in an apartment or whatever, and they come live with you, it becomes y'all's, right? Because you got two people living there. But if you got somebody close mind that says, oh, that's hers, and if something is hers, then guess what? You're never going to go nowhere. Ever. Because that person still think as a one-way street. And if he's a bad motherfucker, and you feel like you... Oh, I can't, you know, that's hers. Then why don't you get your ass and get y'all come, both come to the table and get shit together. Even if it, even if you want to get an apartment and move in together and you don't want to move into a home or buy a home, whatever. So you want to be straight across the board, do that. But you can grow with a person. And shit is right, shit is right. That shit becomes y'all's, right? Because you got two people that are, Planning to be together for a long time. And that's what it is. If I meet somebody or if someone returns, it's because shit is right. Please don't come back if it ain't. Because I'm not catering to no damn body no more. And I'm not. If I can't come to your place and sit down, then guess what? You can't come to mine because what I'm talking about is some real shit. And I ain't got shit to prove to nobody. But I'm sure you got a lot to prove to everybody. Because that's the problem, Pisces. They got a lot to prove to everybody. And that's why they like this. Because the thought of you not being in their life is fucked up. But they got to prove shit all day long to people. Why don't you become a fucking man? And you a leader? Act like a leader. You the boss? Act like you the boss. Cross watchers? Act like it. Huh? You want somebody, you want Pisces in your life, then act like you want the Pisces in your life. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to say it again, who you with? Are you happy with who you with? Do that person makes you happy? You go over there, you cater to them, right? Why didn't you cater to Pisces? You do for them, because bitches don't be with niggas that don't do shit. You got to come up with something. But see, with the Pisces, you had it going on. Ain't like that no more. You going to come straight to the table with your share. And if you don't come with a share, then you don't need to be with a Pisces. You think about it, because right now, you're fucked up. You're thinking about a whole lot of shit. You're sitting there looking, and you're wanting. But Why? Take your time. Take all the time you want. Take all the time that you want. Because while you're taking all the time that you want, you know what you want to get, right? And when you know what you want, you know how to come. You know how to talk. Because I don't have shit to say anymore. I'm going to be a listener. I'm going to see what you about, what you want to do. I've I, I done enough of everything. I know we both, I know, I know that you work just as hard as I do. I know your work is hard. And don't ever think that my work ain't hard because what I do for a living is my spirit. It's my energy. And that's some serious work. And when you come to the table, you're going to come right all the way across. That means we ain't talking about what didn't. All you got to say is come to my door. Knock on my door. I don't even want to I'm not even asking. 
I don't even want to know the past. I want to know the future. Come to my door. Come in. Park your car in front of my door. Come on over. All y'all say is come on over. And when I get there, have a bottle of that um, sweet bitch. You know what I'm talking about, right? And I'll bring the heavenly wrong, right? But just say, come knock on my door. I'm here. That's all you got to say. We ain't even got to talk about the past. We're going to leave the shit balled up and thrown in the trash. We're going to start a whole new start. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. It ain't no reason why neither one of us should be feeling like this. Like this. Look at the water. That water don't look like it's calm. That water look like it's crazy. Look, 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 look lean it to one side. You know what I mean? But holding on to that dear cup because you know what you want. You know what you want. You know you want Pisces. Pisces, you know you want them. You know you do. You know it. I'm talking about two people that are in love. And I never felt love, but can, I, can you show me what it is? Pisces, don't you want to know what love really is? Don't you? This is real. It was two people at the beginning. You gave that person everything. And now they're thinking about this. Because I feel like you don't speak to them. You don't know nothing about them. But I feel like this person watches you. I really do. But you got to understand, it's got to be right. Or it can't be none. Either I have it all or I have none. No in between. I can put the key in my ignition, start the car up, and park, pull right up to the door. And that is the answer to it all. Pull right up to your door. No questions asked. Just say, come on over and pull up to my door. Because we both know how we feel about each other. This is two people that don't speak to each other, don't text, no communication. It was wild. It was rough. It was crazy. Um, it is what it is. Pisces. Believe, love yourself, nurture yourself. Know that if and when, or if if or if it should happen, chill out and relax. Let's hear what they gotta say. Okay. Let's see how well they're handling themselves with you, because we both know how you can handle yourself with them. You work so hard, Pisces, to get to where you're at. I know it was hard. It was hard, but you're there. And I know that you say, but I work so hard and I'm just, I'm so afraid to go back to this person because I'm afraid to get caught up in this. And I'm going to tell you something. You, you have seen people and dated people, but you ain't never been in this situation. And it's weird to say because... I've been in a situation and I was with somebody for 28 years. But I never felt like I felt about this person. So that shows you how deep this shit was. And how it still lingers around me. But it's not like it was before. I'm not all crazy. Even though I'm still waiting to dance. Somebody sent me a video of her and at a party or something dancing. And I'm telling you, that shit was nice. I wish I was dancing. So, yeah. It is. You know, the holidays are coming. People have their little parties or they gathering. And I would love to be invited to a dance. 
I really would. Yup, I dance slow to slow, fast to slow. Slow dance would be all that. Spin some. You know what I mean, right? So here we go. So now you got the Harfit, right? Um, you got a Virgo. And, um, Virgos, they earth signs, you know, they money, you know, they got the coins to build in the understanding, they nurturing people. But this, this person is sitting there like, this person is, is really like going with them. Pisces, I feel like this, this person, this, this king here that were in your past, this, this king is going within. They really going within. They really sitting there going within. They trying to figure, how can I come, what do I got to say, how am I saying, um, they trying to come to you, but how, when, and what they want to say is, it's like they thinking about how to speak or what to say or whatever. But the thing is, the, a simple hello is how to get a conversation started. Am I right? A simple hello. I mean... I don't know about going out to eat because, you know, everything is crazy to me. But a simple hello or would you like to come over to eat at my house through the doors? See, I know what, what I can do and who I am. I know what all the things I can offer and they also do too. So therefore, I am waiting. I'm not gonna say I'm waiting, but um, hello and um, um, sweet bitch, um, heavily, heavily rum and um, a dinner candlelight, um, one rose, watch some funny or action. Flicks or listen to music. They're the things they like to do. What's the problem with enjoying it with somebody? I mean, I'm quite sure they do it for other people. I don't know. But they're going within and they're really going within. And they're trying to figure out how they're going to do, what they're going to say, and all of this. Because they're going within. Okay? So, Pisces is serious. Um, inner strength, inner monitor, inner guidance. Show, show, it's like they're showing me the bigger light that, so that I may see with all my heart. It's, I feel like this person's going within. Like they've never been. You got to understand, these people are not connected to themselves. They're like, probably they're going in. Because no matter how much they don't want to think about you, it's always someone that reminds them of you. And it's funny how they can see that car and look again to see, is this her or him? It's weird, but... I mean, Pisces, it, it, you know, you got to understand, Pisces, that it is what it is, you know. Can't change what it is, but people can come around, but I'm telling you, Pisces, you've been through a lot. And the, the car reading seems like there is someone coming back from the past. And I feel like someone's watching you. And I feel like this person is like y'all marrying each other on a fifth dimensional. And it may be not like going crazy over the person, but it's like you're in their thoughts and they in your thoughts. 
And this is not for everybody, okay? Some people don't even want to know about them. And if you don't want to know about them, it's all good too. But if it ain't you, it ain't you. It's not about you. All right? So that's what we need to understand. We need to understand where we stand at with readings. Um, I just feel like um, this is two people that at one point you gave it all to this. And I'm going to say it again. This is two people that were together that you gave everything to them. Everything. And I feel like this person um, just... Like I said, was you just had them to the point where they don't know no better because, and they do know because they grow up people, all right. But um, I just feel like it should have been handled in a different way. I mean, you don't just sit there and um, uh, allow a woman to do all this for you, and you ain't got nothing to give to her. So how you expect that woman to feel like that woman looking at you like? What is it? Just a sex thing? That's all we got? A sex thing? That's it. Because they don't want nothing with me because they can't give me shit. They don't even, you know what I mean? So, um, here you go. We got these love cards that I love. The first card, I want you to see the stars when we make love. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. The next card is... Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. I love the smell of you. And they do love that essence about you. It's that smell. And I mean, I used to always, they used to always tell me I smell good. So I don't know. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I want to, what? I want you to suck on me. I want you to suck on me. That's what they said on here. Okie dokie wokey. Can I read that again? It says, I want you to see the stars when we meet, when we make love. They want you to see the stars when they make love. I love the smell of you. I want you to suck on it. All right. Whatever that means. And that is a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The first one is Libra, Taurus, or Capricorn. 40, 49. Are they 49? I don't know. Is this person 49? I don't know. 39. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. 22. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. All right, I love these cards. I love them. Here's another one. This is the the Hidden Truth Orchid, and this one is Love Intimate Notes. Okay, I feel you leave. I feel you leaving me behind. They feel like you are just out of sight, out of mind, Pisces. I wish I could take back my words. Shit was fucked up, but y'all need to come into some type of communication and square it off. You and I were too young. When y'all met, y'all was young, right? But y'all adults, so what happened now? I feel like this, these people, they knew each other. They came back. It's just a big mess, but... You know, things happen. We both know I am not the one for you. They feel like maybe you're too much for them. Or you feel like they're not good enough for you. But they want to tell you how they feel. You know, maybe you feel, maybe they think that they're that they just too much, like it's like you too much for them, or maybe you, you know, you got it going on and they don't as much as you do, but that ain't no reason not to be with a person. That means you just need to act like you want to be with that person and make shit happen, right? That's what it means to me. If you want to keep telling me what I got and you ain't got that, or you ain't saying it, but you looking at it like that, so why don't you act like you want to be a part of it? 
Because you can work together and make things happen. All right? Will we be together again? He wants to know. Will we be together again? Are you making a move to be together again? Because if neither one of us is talking and neither one is communicating, I've always come to you and you never came to me. What's the problem? You're still waiting for me to come? Ain't that some shit? Some, something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what that is. Something is still missing for me and I'm still trying to figure it out what that is. If you're trying to figure out what, what who's missing for you or something's missing for you, hey baby, I don't know what to tell you. Keep on trying to figure that one out. I am in, and I am I'm in a much better place in my headspace now. Pisces, yes you are. You become big and sharp now where you at. You're asking them, will we still be together again? You're asking yourself that. Then you say, something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what it is. You're thinking about this person, but since this person ain't making no move to you, you're like, it is what it is. Because how many times are you going to say goodbye to somebody going to say goodbye to you? How many times are they not even going to say they love you? How many times do they ask you if you miss them and they don't say, I miss you? How many times do you got to do everything for them and they don't do shit for you? How many times do they come in and out of your life? How many times? How many times? I'm in touch. I'm in a better space in my head. And yes, you are, Pisces. You are that. I can still feel you. And it's so true. We can. But if nobody making a move, I don't know what to say. If nobody making a move with this, what the hell is what? You know what I mean? It's got to, shit's got to give, and it's got to give, honey. You can't keep uh, expecting to be taken advantage of, and nobody is, you know, Pisces, you done found yourself. You went within yourself, and you saying, I went too, I done gained myself, and you saying, I worked hard for this. I worked hard, I found myself. You saying, I went through, listen, you went through, a situation with this person that I'm telling you, it was hard. You looking at all those mountains, but with faith, with faith, you can move anything. And that's what you're saying. We can move anything, anything to standing in our way. We can move it, but you got to want them to have it. How bad do they want you, Pisces? How bad are they willing to move these mountains? Pisces, if they want to come with something new to you. They want to be something brand new. They want to start something. Old. They want to be loyal. They want to be, they want to be very loyal to you. They want to be there with you. They want to start over. But why are they taking so long to come back? That's the question. Pisces. I love you, and I wish the best. But only thing I'm saying, Pisces, whatever is is marrying you, understand one thing. That it's it takes two people, and y'all both are marrying each other, right? But you need to understand, Pisces, you come a long way, and you do a lot of work within yourself. So give yourself enough credit for that. And it, like I'm saying, both of y'all done did, moved on, and you're not killing yourself, and they ain't killing themselves, but... If they really thinking about you wanting to be a, a part of you and know that, you know, when y'all together, it's all that. And they want to make a commitment, real commitment. Why don't you act like it? I mean, what you wait for Pisces to come again like they always do? Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. But, hey, 
um, pull up to the front door, knock on the door and say, um, I'm waiting for you in. Um, yeah, that, that sounds real nice. <laughs> that sounds like uh, an invitation. Like, that's what I'm talking about. So, um, Pisces, I love you and know one thing that life is beautiful. And you are worthy of everything. And don't shortchange yourself again and wind up in the situation you was in. Keep your eyes open and continue to work on yourself. Take them salt baths. Take them scrub baths. Drink water. Light the candle. Do a lot of meditation. Come on now. Keep working on you because we, uh, my Pisces Studios, they like military. They they graduated, honey. I'm over here giving y'all a diploma because I damn sure walk in this red carpet. What? What honors? We're honors. And I'm giving y'all the diploma. You made it. 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 And guess what? We are in September and things is getting ready to start coming. And I told y'all September the 1900, your whole life will change. And if you don't know and you're not committed to yourself, hey, September the 19th, uh, is that the end of I don't know. But whatever it is, hey, I'm shaking and making it. And I'm ready to go. Whatever it is, I'm... My ship has arrived, and they already know what that song mean to me. That doesn't mean I don't care. That doesn't mean I don't love you. Because I don't even know what love is, but I want to know what it is. Show me the way. Show me the way. Show me the way there. Show me. The way. Okay. I work for myself now. I never had time for me. I've always worked and watched my grandson. And that's all it was. Watch my grandson work. Watch my grandson work. But now I work for myself. So there is no excuse why we cannot travel together. And since I can work for myself, just tell me, and I'm ready to go. I'll take my computer and work anywhere. <laughs> I'm ready to see parts of the world that I've never seen. I'm ready to drive three or four hours just to get to where I'm going and have a good time. I'm ready to go. You said I never had time, but I made it for you. But I, I work for self, so I'm ready to be on the go-go. And this, with this, I'll say have a beautiful day, Pisces. Um, don't feel sad. Be happy. And um, remember that your energy is all that matters. And how you look at yourself, don't bring yourself down because... You're thinking, you know, I waited and he don't want me or she don't want me and they're not thinking about me and why they don't call and text me. Believe me, they're going through the same thing you're going through, awakening. You already been awakened. You went through that. We went through that for months. But now they're coming into awakening. Okay? And you need to understand that. But don't let yourself down. Don't beat yourself up about what happened. Because, you know, we both played a part in it. So don't beat yourself. Just know that when it comes, have an open mind. And sit back and enjoy the ride. And listen. The thing is to listen and close your damn mouth. And have your eyes open. And this ain't for everybody. Because if you don't want to take somebody back, then that ain't, this reading ain't for you. If you in a whole new situation, this reading ain't for you. Okay? If you met someone new, this reading ain't for you. This reading is for two people that's been apart and still care about each other. And that person is just trying to find a way to even open up the doors to speak again. Because there is no connection, no contact. No texting, nothing. 
but only mirroring each other on a fifth dimensional, not a third, a fifth. All right? All right, now, have a great one, Pisces. If you want to know more, you want to really get to know what's going on with you and this person, if this reading hits you, but you want to know more, then you need a private reading. And if you want a private reading, you can get it from me or anybody. But you really need to really know what's going on. Because only your reading can tell you that this is a general reading. But a private reading is about you and your situation and only your situation. All right? And for saying that is telling you, you can get that from anybody. You don't have to get it from me. You can get it from anybody. But to know is to know. And I'd rather know than to say this reading is for me. Because if you think this reading is for you, and you really want to know more about this reading, then get into it. Because you got a person that's, you know, that is got too much, too much or too much or too many people that ain't got shit to do with nothing. Okay? In a situation that ain't, ain't nobody's business but y'all. But like I said, I, I don't know what to say. That's on you and them. Or I shouldn't say on you and them. That's on them because if they stuck where they at and they don't see it and you know what I mean? That's the way they want to be. That's the way they want to be. But if you want to know about it, then you need to get a private reading from me or anyone else. Okay? So for that, I'll say have a blessed day and I'll talk to you later. Bye. And thank you again for the gift. I love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.